with Henrik Fisker, the CEO and founder of Fisker Automotive. We're here at the Global Green Sustainable Design Awards, where he's about to take home an award for corporate design. You're well known for being a car designer for many years for a lot of the top brands in automotive. What inspired you to go off and start your own company? I always thought about what are we going to be driving in the future. Now when I saw Leonardo DiCaprio drive obviously to the Oscars and the Prius, I thought here's a guy who buy any car he want, but he wants to make a statement. And I thought there's got to be a market for good looking, desirable green cars. So when I saw this uh, kind of opportunity to get into this market with uh, this powertrain that we have, which is essentially an electric vehicle, but with a range extender, I saw that was the first time you could offer no compromise to the consumer, but also really get out there a beautiful green car, because obviously my background is, is car design with Aston Martin, BMW, etc. So I thought it was the perfect mix. So Leonardo DiCaprio is actually one of your first customers. That must feel really great. It feels great. You know, he's a great ambassador for uh, the environment. I think he's really passionate about it. He has obviously shown it many things that he has contributed to. And to have him drive the car and be a support for the company is fantastic. Couldn't have asked for better. So your background is in design and now you're a CEO. How does that feel making that transition? I think the advantage we have uh, at Fisk Automotive is that I have a design background because I'm very import, you know, involved in the product creation and the design obviously of the vehicle. Becoming obviously the CEO really means you're just uh, involved in everything that goes on the con in, 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 the, in the company and you start understanding all the aspects of the company. Uh, and I think uh, understanding the product fundamentally really means that everybody in the company I think is inspired because they see that the leader in the company understands the product and I think that's very important in the car industry. So the Karma is the first electric car that you've designed. What inspired you to get into electric cars? For me it was not just about electric, it was about thinking about how do people actually drive cars today. And you know in car commercials today you see people going to work on an open road, curvy road. That's not how we go to work, we sit in traffic you know, and, and that's how we use our car. And, and rarely we take it out in the open road. So I thought it would be great if I would be able to, on my daily commute, be in electric mode and when I had to go far, be in some sort of gasoline mode because that's what you need when you go far. For me that meant that suddenly you actually could create an uncompromising electric vehicle. But I felt it had to be more than that. It also was about the rest of the vehicle because we want to be an environmental friendly brand as a whole. So it's not just about the technology. We have reclaimed wood in our car. We're probably the only car company in the world which actually doesn't cut down any trees. You know, all our wood is reclaimed either from the California fires or from uh, you know the, the bottom of Lake Michigan. And we offer an animal-free interior. We offer the biggest solar panel in the world on a car ever done. So you know, those are the type of things where it's more. It's about the entire brand. Even our dealers have to use solar-powered signs. So I absolutely love the Karma. I think it's the best looking EV out there. What inspired the Karma's design? To be honest, the essential beauty of cars. So when we talk about beautiful cars, we always go back to the 50s and 60s. And so I kind of went back and thought, what was it that made us fall in love with cars? And it was these amazing proportions, great sculpture, and just really sexy lines in the perfect proportion. And I wanted to bring that back with the Karma and for us, the karma is the essence of the brand, so it had to be very dramatic. And I wanted to create a car where you didn't think instantly about whether it was environmental friendly or not. You thought about, wow, I just want that car. So you're getting the Corporate Design Award from Global Green tonight. What does that mean to you? This is just a start. You know, we're coming out obviously with a very expensive vehicle. We're getting a nice green award for it. But it's really about creating awareness. So when we come out with vehicles that are eventually a half the price of the Karma, or even cheaper than that, then people start feeling that it started out with a very desirable product, and we want to create a really desirable brand. And that's how you create a good brand, by creating this unique first product. So for us to be part of this event is just really to create more awareness about uh, that environmental products can actually be really cool.